Viruses is something that we all know because we all need virus protection on, on our systems. Um, and um, the idea of a virus is just like a biological virus, it's designed to replicate itself. And so how does it do it? Well, it does it through removable storage. So anything that moves between um, different systems through networks or through physical transfer, like disks or um, memory sticks or email, that can transmit uh, a virus. Um, a virus is intended to cause damage. There is no benign virus, just like in, in nature, so it's, uh, it's malware. And the principles of a virus, uh, how it operates, it needs a host program. So just like a biological virus needs a body, uh, a virus needs a program that, is, that becomes its host. And what it does is it attaches itself to the program, typically in front of it. So um, you put this virus code in front of the code, and so the virus code is the first thing that gets executed when you start the program. You don't even know it, but you start your program and first your virus runs. Now it executes as part of the host and it tries to do um, many things. It could try to do some damage, but it tries to inflict, uh, um, um, uh, infect other programs. So in other words, it copies itself in front of um, other programs to continue and propagate itself as, as much as possible. So virus detection is based on um, sort of finding these pieces of code that have been attached to, to programs illegally. Now uh, you could check the length of the program because if a virus attaches itself, the program increases. But that's very silly because I mean viruses are very smart, smart these days. They hide, they compress the code, so uh, length usually doesn't work. It would be a very simple virus to do that. However, every virus has something called a signature. So there is a bit pattern that identifies this particular virus. And why does it need it? It's to identify itself so it doesn't reinf reinfect the same program over and over again. So a virus needs to, uh, needs to sort of detect its own uh, kind. Now, of course, for, uh, for detection of a virus, we can use the same, same technique. So if we know what the signature is, we can check for it and eliminate it. But of course, it's an ongoing battle. The viruses uh, will use encryption, so you don't see the signature, you can detect it. It will encrypt it, decrypt it as, as they go. So it's an ongoing battle between the good guys and the bad guys.